Which you guys got another video. Every Windows 11 user needs this File Explorer app. Winset View is a free portable Windows utility that lets users globally set default folder views in File Explorer, customizing aspects like a view type, your details, icons, column headings, and sorting out and grouping across all of your folders with one click. So working by adjusting registry settings, it helps overcome Windows inconsistent folder settings by applying your preferred layout everywhere. It's a free application and it's portable. So you can use this to basically control File Explorer because let's face it, Windows 11 File Explorer isn't the best. So I'm gonna download this zip file right here. Now, the information provided in this video is for education and entertainment purposes only. Any actions you take based on this video are strictly at your own risk and decision. I'm not responsible for any losses or damages done to your system. This does make changes to the registry, so bear that in mind. So you can see here our layout of all of our folders are different sizes. If you want to control the size of this, I find when you make these large, it always goes back to its default size. Now, Winset View is going to allow you to control everything you want inside File Explorer. So let's go through here and take a look. So you've got your reset views to defaults here, and you've got your global settings. And from here, we've got standard and advanced drop down at the very top, and you can change the uh, text font layout if you want to. So let's look at the global settings right here. If you look down the list here, there's a load of different options like documents, documents library, OneDrive, and so on. There's a big long list of them. And you can change all of these in one go by using the global settings. I'll show you how that works. So for instance, let's take a look right here. If I inherit these, it's just gonna basically leave this one out. So you can change the style icons to small, or large and you can set it up how you like individually or you can just do it for all of the settings using global settings in your folder view options here you can set show paths in search results only or use general items for uh, connected devices and so on you can change this to exactly how you like so you're getting full control here so whether you want to disable folder thumbnails or whether you want to do not full standard grouping on libraries and so on, or whether you want to make the icons medium or large or whatever it is you want to do, you can do. So let's go back uh, to the main menu here. And what we'll do is look inside Explorer Options. You can see here, Show File Extensions. You've got Enable Compact View in Windows 11. You can show hidden files, folders, and drives. Yes, you can do a lot of this inside Windows itself, but this gives you much more control. A classic context menu in Windows 11. You can have enable copy move to folder. You can also have uh, a load of other settings in here. For instance, use the Windows 10 Explorer on Windows 11 or remove home in Windows 11 and remove gallery in Windows 11 and a bunch of other settings inside here as well. Now you can also uh, click on restore here and there's also reset view back to default. So it's easy to put these back to default settings. And the reset views to defaults is up the top. So this is your global one right here. I can check mark this or you can do them individually. And I can change this to make it medium icons and even change the size right here. And you can see there's a columns section right here. You can click on this and you can check mark what you want the actual uh, file explorer to display. For instance, date modified, date created, size, type, and there's other things on here as well like file description and so on and you can just highlight these and it will basically add these into the list so that's giving you the full customization experience inside here and you can have it exactly how you like so for instance if i want to remove that birthday one right here all i need to do is uncheck these and it will disappear from that list so let me show you i'm just going to remove birthday here and uncheck both of these and it were removed from that list up the very top. So that won't be displayed inside uh, your file explorer here. So what we're gonna do is customize this the way you like it. 
and you can check mark whatever you like, check mark both of the boxes, and it will show up in that list there. For instance, if you check mark, say, date, you'd need to check mark both of these, like so, and date will then suddenly appear up the very top. So you can use whatever ones you want uh, up there. You need to check mark both of them, otherwise, it won't show. So, say, for instance, file description, we can check mark both of these, or you can do product version or file version, or you've got file extension. There's loads of different ones here as well, which you can just check mark and have it to the customized to your liking. And all you need to do here is submit this and it's going to set our new defaults to the settings that we've done here. And again, you can spend more time doing this right here and it's completely reversible. So now we have medium icons here. And if we go through, and look at these folders, you'll see that are all medium icons. They've all been changed to that size that I wanted. And it's right away across. And it's quite useful uh, for having a set folder size. And I find that difficult inside Windows uh, 11. You can see also our Explorer panel has changed as well because I checkmarked those settings. If we go back inside the application right here and you want to leave one of the actual areas out and you didn't want to change that then you can do all you need to do here is find the one that you don't want to touch and you can uncheck it like so and it will leave that one out and you can see the inherit right here you can change this to a different size maybe you want to do a uh, large uh, and you would in, uh, you know change that size to large and it and then submit that and it will basically use large in that section and all the rest will be medium so you can change the sizes individually for each individual area as well which is useful so entirely how you want to set yours up is up to you you can see the registry keys that are going to be changed uh, right here by looking at this view and once you've completed this and submitted your request all of these settings will be set in stone so for instance music you might want larger icons so you can see the fan art inside the actual folders and it will look much nicer so you can go ahead and set this up in the music library. Now to reset, you just have to put the check mark in and submit like so, and it will reset all of these back to default settings. So you can put them back to how you customized them previously inside Windows itself. Now the actual menu bar up the very top, you would have to basically uncheck that and then submit. So all of the ones you've check mark inside there, you would have to reset those back and they will go back to default settings. You do have a dark mode on this as well. If you like it in dark mode, you can do and do that here. But you can see there's lots of settings inside here that gives you full customization of the Windows Explorer or File Explorer inside Windows. And there you can see some of the categories here. You might need to restart your PC to set these up correctly, but you can see you all have lists of ones that you've set up here as well and remember we're in app data right here of the actual application as well so you can customize it the way you like now this was a requested video a couple of weeks ago and uh, this is basically the end result so if you have other options out there better options than this then let me know in the comments section down below and i'll take a look at it and if it's worthy of a video i'll make a video on it uh, but that's pretty much it that is the uh, win set view uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.